Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 video and today we're going to be doing another episode checking out some of your guys' solar systems. So yeah, today we are on episode 89. Wow, 89 now, that is absolutely crazy. We have today we're on episode 89 and we've got two systems to check out from Cyrus Plays. So I think these were sent quite a while ago, it's just been trying to... Well, it's taken quite a while to get through all of these. But yeah, we've got two systems today, so without further ado, we'll just get straight into what he has prepared for us. So let's go ahead and search these guys up. So yeah, the first system today is called the Darius Yar system. So let's go ahead and search that. But here we go. So let's go ahead and open this up and see what he has got for us here. Oh, and also, while we're loading up, guys, um, I am going to be needing to pre-record a ton of videos soon as I'm going on holiday. So if you want me to do any certain video ideas, short videos, collisions, anything really, really short or longer videos, um, let me know who, um, what videos you want to see since I'm going to need to record a lot of stuff. So if you want to me to do a certain thing, let me know in the comments because, yeah, I've got, I need to record a lot of stuff, like three weeks worth of things. So, yeah, if you've got a video idea that's quite a short video, like a, a simple collision or something, now would be the time to send it in. Um, if you want me to do that for a video. So yeah, without that, or with that reminder out of the way, let's continue. So yeah, anyways, this system, okay, so this planetary system used to have life, but the life had either become extinct or traveled to another star system. They all left behind the Dyson Swarm, Darius Shah, surrounding offensive neutralization but to, protect, to protect their home system. A nearby planetary system fleet is trying to invade this system. Planets of interest, Plasmos, planet that is covered in lava and the volcanoes put out a lot of flammable gases which gets ignited habitos um a planet filled with life plutos a moon covered with plutonium purplos i really hope i'm saying these correctly um, a planet covered in purple algae that gives it a characteristic a characteristic hue uh distanos not much is known about this planet except for the fact that it's very cold and then human fleet mother or human fleet mother ship this is our home author of the research log Spacian. Okay, right. So let's go ahead and head to the star first. All right, here we go. Got some cool colored trails in here. Okay, so here we go. Here is our star, and that is really cool the way they've done that. So that's the Dyson sphere sort of thing by the looks of it. No one has ever done that. That's a that is one of a kind. No, what that is cool. I'm, I'm surprised no one has ever made something like this, like with a Dyson sphere thing. That's awesome. Wow. Credit where credit's due. No one has ever done that before. Look how cool that looks. Oh, that is so cool. Right, anyways. Um, got some... Okay, so we've got some probes here. We don't need to zoom in on those. Right, so the first object here. And it's one of the uh, crazy cloud objects. Check this out. Oh, yeah. Looks amazing. This is one of my favourites as well. This is the Fire God template, I believe. And oh, I love the, uh, the clouds in this. Look at it. It has like an actual sky. There's the star as well. Oh, that is so cool. Love the clouds on this. Looks amazing. White atmosphere. The super good yellow clouds. Underneath, we have got... Um, what surface is it underneath? Okay, so a pretty uh, barren-looking wasteland underneath it there. But yeah, there we go. So that's Plasmos Yarl. We, uh, sorry if I'm saying these wrong. <laughs> right, moving on to Flamos now. So this is a gas giant. Quite large in size. Larger than Jupiter as well. An all-orange gas giant, as we can see here. So we've got less mass than Jupiter, but it's slightly bigger in size. So there we are. Right, next up, moving to this one, Inita here. So this is a small Mercury-like world. A little um, cooler than what Mercury is in temperature, though, as you can see. Only 38 degrees there. Not very hassable, though, as it's literally just a rock right there. Right, now we're moving to Habitos here. So this is a hassable planet, and it's got some sweet green clouds. You know, guys, I do like my green clouds, and they look amazing. Oh, love the green clouds on it. Got some green surface underneath as well. Let's check the stats on this guy. 92 and then 4. Right, there we are. But yeah, the green just look. I love the green. When, when I first saw a green object, it was the coolest thing. <laughs> oh, man. Right, anyways, next object here. It's got some green on it as well, which looks pretty pretty cool effect on it there. So normal colored moon, but with those green splatters on it. Pretty unique there. Then one more object here as well. So this is a blue object right here. So there we go. Two pretty large moons orbiting this planet there. So there we are. Right, now moving on to the next one. This is the Purplos one. Pur Purplos? But yeah, here it is. And look at that. So the ultra magenta purple atmosphere there. Looking very nice. Only at one degree. I wonder if the stats on this are any good. Yeah, 89 and 3. There we are. Then we got Desertos here. Oh, this one's cool. Ooh, I like the uh, climate mode on it. So it looks like he's used a Mars for the template here. Yeah, he's got a Mars atmosphere with a reddish... That's cool, actually. I like that. The climate mode on that looks really good with the... Uh, 
unique surface underneath instead of the Mars texture. That's looking good. I like that. I really like that, actually. That looks really good. So, yeah, there we are there. So that's that one. All right, now moving on to Gigantos here. Yeah, Gigantos. Um, going with a orange and blue banded gas giant here with a ring system as well. Looking good. And then we got frozen one over here, and this one is a white, an all white atmosphere with ice cold water as well. Look at that! It's not entirely all frozen up because if it was frozen, it'd look a lot more shiny. But yeah, there it is. There, so that still looks like it's in liquid form, right there. All right, cool. And obviously, it is still in liquid form because if it wasn't, the clouds on the planet would disappear. But yeah, there we are. So there are those. Moving on to Distantos now. Okay, so this is the one we um, loaded in when we saw it here. So this is a Titan object. So look underneath though. Anything hidden under here? Show atmosphere off. Okay, so it's an all frozen. You see, that's frozen water. The water back at the other one was definitely in liquid. This is a solid right here. But yeah, there we go. So that's an all frozen up well there. Righty-o. Right, and then zooming out to the last object, which is the mothership. Yeah, that's right. And it is a giant pyramid. Look at that. It's got a lot of mass. Look at that. That's 162 meters in size. So there it is there. Okay, let's actually get a look at the star from here. Look at that. You can just see the giant sphere of asteroids around it. That's a really unique effect, actually. Can we land on the pyramid? I've never tried that. Can we? No, not really. Apparently, this counts as being landed. <laughs> yeah, there we go. So if we look up... Um, where is it? I've lost sight. <laughs> oh, hang on. No, yeah, there it is. That's actually really cool and well done. I really like that. Let's go, and, let's go back to the... Yeah, go back to the star again. Okay, let's go over here. I want to get a shot of that. Or um, yeah, let's just go to the green object and let's actually look at it from a planet, which is a lot closer. So let's go ahead and land on here. It's got some climate mode in the north as well here. But yeah, if we look around, look at that. That's so cool with all the asteroids around it. Oh, I really like that. That's so unique. No one has ever done that. Really, really um, props to you for doing that. No one has ever done that. Yeah, so Cyrus Plays is ahead of the game here with um, using asteroids in the simulations. I mean, that's usually people just had ring systems, but this is a whole new like sphere of asteroids around the star. That's so good. I really, really like that. Really nice job there, Cyrus Plays. Right, anyways, that is it for that system. So let's get a line up all the objects before we move on to the next one. But I've got to say, for visual purposes, the star is my favourite. And I don't usually pick a star as the top object, but look how good it looks. With the... I really like that. That is so cool. Favourite gas giant, it'd be the blue and orange one here, but there's not really much um, choice between them there. And then out of the rocky planets. I have to say, I really like this white one with the um, white coloured water. That's really cool. The all-white object, I'm, I like that. But this one is also really good. So yeah, they're my top two rocky planets. They look... That, that one looks really good with the ice on it. But I really do like that all frozen one with the uh, white water on it. They look good. So yeah, they're my uh, top objects for this simulation. But now moving on to the second simulation he has prepared for us today. So this is a Leia system. So there we go. Let's go ahead and search this up. Right, here we go. I wonder how many simulations are all saved in my game now. I must have like hundreds of them now. So I don't just have yours. I have my own simulations and stuff as well. Right, anyways. Right. So, uh, oh, it's a sort of, sort of like a sequel. Okay, so um, I knew it. Knew we should not mess around with the Darius Yar system. Okay, so this is a sort of sequel. Now that our fleet was reduced, reduced only a few, a few ships, we need to refuge here. Anyway, here are the more interesting planets. It burner. Do not go there because it burns. Hatability score, minus 10 out of 10. Okay, that's pretty cool. Okay, we'll leave this menu open so we can go through it, actually, um, while we're doing it. Okay, so anyways, here is our star. So we can't obviously see the stats. But looking at the screen, it's got 629 Jupiters and just under 4,000 degrees there. And the Hattable Zone, as you can see, is there. But yeah, there we are. So let's go ahead and turn all that off. Right, so yeah, it Burma. Okay, so this is a very hot object. Oh, okay. So it's a crazy fire god planet with this crazy crowd, or crazy clouds. But he has also heated the planet up, so it's actually glowing. That's quite a cool... Um... Oh, how could the clouds look? <laughs> That's actually quite a cool... Um choice as well actually i think this actually looks really good heated up i've never seen anyone heat up one of the crazy clouded objects but this actually looks really nice very nice take on it that looks really cool anyways let's go and land on here because that those clouds look at these clouds oh oh yeah look at that oh even with the star as well oh that is it's like a really cool like sunset but all the time because that's the main color of the clouds oh that looks amazing Really, really cool. And the star as well. That is a cool shot. I really do like that. Maybe I'll use it for the thumbnail, but wow. That is a good-looking object right there. 
Right. Anyways, moving on. So the next object is this. Actually, no. Oh, no, this is only the nose wall planets. Okay, so the next object is this one, which isn't mentioned in the list here. Right, so here it is here. Okay, so it's a pretty um, barren looking object with a Mars sort of red colored atmosphere here. So there we go. About the size of Mars, but it's 170 degrees. So sort of a mix between Mars and Mercury, I guess, right there. Right, anyways, moving on to this object. Okay, so this is Rena, an unusually cold planet in the inner system. And by that, I mean cold for the planets that are in the zone. So, oh, it's got the shadow glitch. That's quite annoying. But yeah, it's got a habitability score of 2 out of 10. So I'm guessing it has a very high albedo to reflect a lot of light. So that's why it's frozen. But yeah, we'll go ahead and check that afterwards as well. So there's Rena. Or Rena. Right, now moving on to this one. So... Orzoron, a paradise, contains a mineral called Azurite that may prove to be useful. Hatability score, 100 out of 10. So a very, very hatable object. And look at that blue atmosphere. Oh, that is sweet. Love it. That is, oh, that is a nice looking object. Love the blue. Great choice there of the Neptune blue colored atmosphere. That's a very nice looking object there. So there we are. And then it's also got a moon here as well. An all blue moon. So Azuro's here. Right, really good looking object though. I'm interested to see the stats on that. Oh, it's also got another moon out here. What's this guy look like? So here we are. So that's Ross, a red object there. But oh man, that looks good. Oh, loving it. That is really, really nice. wonder why we have the shadow glitch though, because there's only one star in here. So I'm curious to why that's doing that. Unless it's another object further out that emits light, maybe? Anything? There's something we're a really far away orbit. Oh, there is another star. Okay, so that's the Darius Yas. That's the, system, the previous system we've checked out. That's where the star is. Okay, so that's why we have the shadow glitch, because of that second star. That's quite annoying, actually, because sometimes you get the glitch, sometimes you don't. But anyways, there is that. Right, moving on to the next object. This is Arados. Um, an Arab planet is the same, or is, it's in the name, uh, quite cold, has ability score 7 out of 10. Okay, so it's also rocking a Mars atmosphere. It looks quite similar to the one we saw in the previous simulation. Actually, it, look, it looks very similar. Maybe it's built off the same template. This one has less um, polar caps on it, because yeah, the, there's hardly any in the north, but in the south there's a decent amount of um, ice there with climate mode there. But yeah, l uh, definitely a more hatchable looking one compared to the one we saw in the previous simulation there. And then next up we have area here simple looking moon obviously that's all it is there right right now moving on to this one so violetia here a toxic land has ability five out of ten so yeah it's a magenta purple pink object right here looks good with a white um added in as well with the pink there so there we go right and then log by commander pharaohs okay so that's all of the um text done so there's that one Right, and then we have human escape pod A, and it's a police box, which is um, looking very nice indeed. Just chilling out here at the edge of the system there. So there we go. Very, very nice. So there we go. Right, so I wonder if there's any objects orbiting the other star from the previous sim. So there we go. So it's quite a distance away from this star, as you can see. So there it is there. Anything orbiting this, or is it just a star? Oh, it has one thing orbiting. Oh, Human Fleet Mothership Fragment, and it's the monolith. This is the monolith object from 2001 A Space Odyssey, if anyone's seen that film. But yeah, here it is. So yeah, the mothership pyramid we saw, it's all been destroyed. So you can see there's more fragments out there as well, so it's all gone. Oh no. Right, and then if we look closer to the star, there was something orbs in it. Yeah, what's this? Dyson Activator. Okay. Oh yeah, the Dyson Sphere's disappeared on it now, look. There's no more giant ring of objects around it. So this is the, the here's the activator here. So right now the Dyson Sphere must be switched off. So yeah, there we are. All right, cool. Really, really cool. I, I like the um, continuity between the two systems as well. That's a nice um, um, touch as well. Looking really, really cool. Really like that addition. Because if you guys have seen these episodes for a while, you know I do like the, the stories that people put into these simulations. It's really cool. And obviously, since we've done two, got a bit of continuity as well to add to the story. Really, really nice indeed. Definitely a fan of that. Anyways, here's that Rhaenyra frozen object. So this was the one that was close to the star, wasn't it? Yeah, that, that was close to the star. Let's check its... Yeah, so it has a very high albedo. So obviously the higher the albedo here, the more light it reflects, meaning the colder it is. But I know a few people have been screaming at me in the comments saying, oh, if you have it all the way up, it makes it warm up or something. Now, myself, I have never witnessed this, but people are claiming it. Apparently having it all the way up increases the object's temperature for some reason. Like... Yeah, increases it instead of decreases it for some reason. But from what it's supposed to be, it's meant to make the object colder. Like if we click play, I'm pretty sure that should cool down. 
But yeah, apparently there's um, something going on, going on with the albedo that if you increase it all the way up to where it reflects all the light, apparently it can warm up or something with a glitch in the game. But yeah, it's supposed to make it colder. Let's actually just speed up. Is it going to make it colder? Yeah, see, it is getting colder, so it's doing what it's supposed to there. But you know, there's enough of that. Oh, looks like some of the orbits are going out. But um, where was it? That blue object. I want to go back there. Yeah, here, um, here, it was around here. So just reload the simulation since I did ruin it by playing it. So there we go. Right, I want to go ahead and check out that sweet looking blue one. Where is it? Oh, hang on, no, I opened the wrong one, and then we want that one. We've already been in that simulation before. Right, there we go. Right, where's that blue one? Uh, where is it? No, it's not... Um, yeah, here it is. So, let's check this guy, because this one looked great. Oh, I love that. Let's just go on a studio. Looks so good. Right, let's check the stats on this guy. So, 17 degrees, very similar stats to Earth there. Temperature, yeah, looking all good. Composition, let's check the stats. 90 and then 41, yeah, pretty good stats, but that is a very nice... Because usually people don't use the very dark shade of blue. But look how good it is. This dark shade of blue. I wish people used it more. You can get um, it in the template simulation that we have released um, in the past on the workshop. If anyone wants to get access to this. I actually, if this is from the templates um, simulation, I actually modded this. That I built this myself. It's one of the only things I've modded that I've uploaded. But yeah, the Neptune Blue Rocky Planet, I modded myself for that simulation. It was pretty cool. But anyways, yeah, here it is. Check out the blue clouds. Oh, they look so good. If someone can make a crazy clouded version with blue clouds, like the, the this sort of shade of blue. So yeah, see that yellow one there? We need to get someone to make this one in blue with these blue clouds. Imagine how cool that would look. So I know people have done light blue versions, but we need someone to try and make a dark blue one. That would look amazing. So yeah, any modders out there, make that, please. Put it in a sim. It would be so cool. But yeah, that blue is, that's a beauty. And it looks, it, the green landscape blends in really well with that, I think. I think that looks really, really good. So, yeah, definitely a nice job. So, out of all the objects in here, though, I think it's my favourite one. The blue one. I know the Fire God one does look good with it heated up. So, it's at 600 degrees to give it a little um, temperature increase there. But that blue looks great. But, yeah, this one comes in a very, very close second. But, yeah, this this is one of my favourite. Really good. I think that's my favourite I've seen out of all the objects today. 100%. That looks great. But, yeah, there we go, guys. So, that is it for the two simulations today. So, yeah, remember, all credit goes to Cyrus Blaze, who sent this in on my Discord server. Yeah, so, a massive thank you for him for sending those in. Apologies for it taking quite a while to get these out. But, yeah, as everyone knows um, by now, or everyone should know, I do have a lot of simulations to get through. So, yeah, it can take a while um, for me to get around to doing your simulations. But, yeah, I'll leave a link to him down below as well guys if you want to check him out um but yeah yeah massive thank you to him again and also also if you want to send in your own simulations for either this series or the uh, new object review series where you send in free objects in the simulation and i review them either join my discord oh, no no yeah join yeah my discord yeah join it in the description and then you can upload it in the pacific chats for it there and then um yeah i can get around to doing it for a video as um not many people have posted some recently, so if you post um, one in, I may be able to do it um, a lot quicker than normal. So yeah, it's been a little quiet recently, so if you want to send in a simulation quickly, yeah, just join my Discord, link in the description, upload your simulation by dragging the Universe Sandbox system folder into Discord, and then it will upload the simulation for you. And then I can download it and also do a video on it. So yeah, if you want to you want to do that, make sure to do, um, go to the link in the description, make a Discord account if you haven't got one, and yeah, join it. So, yeah, really, really cool stuff there. And also, guys, massive thank you for watching today's video as well. Let's see if we can go for 30 likes on this video, guys. Uh, so it really helps out the channel a lot. And it tells me that you guys are still enjoying this series. As we have been doing this series for quite a long time. So, like, and due to the less amount of these being sent in, maybe we end it at 100. Unless you guys want me to keep going. I mean... It may, I mean, it could get too repetitive at one point. I don't know. I mean, I have no problem doing this. I still enjoy checking out everyone's work. But it's up to you guys. If you want me to continue, I think we'll have to face that when we get to 100 if you guys want to continue it or not. But it's all up to you at the end of the day. But, yeah, enough really rambling on. We'll, uh, we'll face that fence when we get to it. But, um, yeah, that's all of that done. So, yeah, guys, again, massive thank you for watching today's video. Thank you to Cyrus Place for sending this in. Yeah, if you want to send your own simulations, just follow the instructions I previously said. And, yeah, I hope to see some more simulations posted soon. But, yeah, that all out the way, guys. Guys, make sure you have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.